there's two phases to this to the big picture okay the big project and that is um, there's the BAM Athletic Center which is across the street um, you know funding is pretty much um, you know going according to plan and we should be finished with that very soon the second phase of this project is this building here, the one we're in right now, the BAM Center, which we're, gonna, we're, not, we're gonna be calling the BAM Academic Center, okay? And um, what we're gonna do is uh, use some of the existing um, building and build out about um, a few yards or so, and then build up. And what we're going to have is um, eight classrooms upstairs, about three classrooms down here on this side. We're going to have a sanctuary, um, and we're going to have a kitchen area and offices. With that, we're going to we're going to be able to house the entire program now uh, in um, our what we call campus. It was almost. Um, a necessity to, to, to go down this road because at this time the um, elementary school where we currently have our program our, our actual classrooms um, we're using their classrooms and they're going through the process of building their new facility so not knowing what their situation is going to be whether or not we're still going to be able to use classrooms over there or whether or not they're going to tear something down and they're going to say to us, well, you're going to have to find another place to go while we're in construction and blah, 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 blah. So with that said, we said we to be um, you know, forward thinking, um, it's something that we needed to think about in order to not be in a situation where you know, we're in limbo. Um, unfortunately, this building as is, is not big enough to house all of the 50 plus kids we have, um, you know, for the, for the regular the session. The reason why we want to do this, uh, have this building here and have the, the classrooms and everything, we're talking about wanting to partner with Chesapeake College and, and see if they can have this facility as a satellite for putting on some classes and other things like that. Uh, this building will be a state-of-the-art building. It will have all of the technology that you can think of. Or we can have, uh, do upstairs, we'll have individual screens for each room, and then they'll be able to have, um, you know, house at least 16 to 17 people in that room to have a class. Or we can have Chesapeake send down a a professor and, and teacher class. And the reason why we want to do that is because, I'll give you the scenario, um, the school gets out at about 3, uh, three o'clock, a little 3, 3.30, between 3 and 3.30. And um, so we'll have the child here, okay? Mom or father comes um, by, picks up the kid, goes upstairs, you know, says hello, goes to the class. The kid, the student then goes to the athletic center, plays around for a couple hours of the classroom. You know, at this point in time, it's about, you know, eight o'clock. They go home, go to sleep, and then they go and do it over again. We're, we are trying to have the children with us as long as possible. That was always our goal. And to be able to pump as much positive information in, in, uh, into them as we possibly can. For this project here, we're looking to raise about a million dollars. We're trying to raise that million so that we can expand this building and we can get it and, and, and then fill it with as much um, as it was cool stuff <laughs> as possible and it's like uh, it's to attract the, the children I mean they they understand technology um, kids these days are, are two years old and they know how to work the iPhone know how to play games on it you know I have my little nephews come by and they say well you know can I you have any games on your phone and I'm like no <laughs> technology is in their blood I mean they 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 understand it a, a lot better than than you know the older generation and so we have to provide them with these things we have to put it in front of them we have to get them to see that that they're 
a desire to just grab my phone could be a desire to go into computer science, can be a desire to get into engineering, can, you know, that can all be transferred into something else that th can help them in the long run. Um, you know, we're just trying our best. Yeah, um, yeah, we're just, best yeah, well, we try and, and it's basically, um, again, exposing the kids to positive, um, si put them in positive situations, put them in, 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 and letting them know that their success is based on them. It's, there's no excuses. If, they, if they're serious and they take it seriously, um, you know, they'll take advantage of it and they'll realize down, you know, 25, 30, 35, 40 years old, they'll say, you know, wow, that was a great experience. It helped me get, get, my, uh, get my career rolling. And but come back and tell us your experience. Uh, and we're getting that already. Um, we're getting some former students that are come, coming back and explaining to, to, you know, telling the kids what they've done and um, how, um, you know, BAM, having BAM in their life has uh, given them some guidance and some purpose and basically, um, you know, if they just do what they need to do and, and listen to us, um, you know, it'll end up uh, pretty good for them.